Hey everyone, this is Sal Congeloso from Geek.com. I'm here with the new HTC One M8. This is the uh, 2014 HTC One that was uh, just announced, and I wanted to run through one of the cooler features, which is called Motion Launch. So uh, basically, the uh, the phone can recognize a whole bunch of different gestures and uh, and motions or whatever, and uh, some of them aren't immediately obvious. And so if you're not googling around for tutorials or whatever, you might have missed some of these. So I just want to do a quick video running through them. Uh, the first one, which uh, a lot of people probably already know about, is the double tap. Tap twice, display turns on. Uh, I don't have a lock screen enabled, so it might be a little different if you're using your phone out in the real world. If your dot view case is down, and that little magnet right here, your phone can uh, sense that it's there, you double tap, you'll get the uh, that pixelated display. You get the time, weather, temperature, and then if you've missed any calls or you have any text alerts, anything like that. When you remove this, phone will turn on. Really cool. So uh, now, just say there's no case or uh, the case is open or whatever, and uh, you want to use one of the cooler motion launch features, you can swipe from left to right, and you'll activate blink feed. This is uh, the HTC One's uh, or HTC's reading mode and you'll get articles from uh, ESPN and Geek.com and Engadget and Extreme Tech and the Associated Press and, uh, and all those things. Go go to the left, or go to the right rather, and you're back on your normal home page. So uh, some of the other functions is you can swipe from right to left. This will go right to your home page. Pretty useful, but it's the same thing as, as double tapping for the most part. The, uh, the other thing you could do is go from the bottom up. And now what your phone will do is open up whatever you were doing last. So if the gallery open, we'll close it. Hey look, it's the gallery. Pretty nice. If you go from the top down, you'll get voice dialing. So that's pretty cool if you use that. I don't want to do that now. So uh, yeah, so that was top down is voice dialing. The other thing you could do, which is, uh, Hi there. Uh, no thank you. The other thing you could do is, uh, if you're getting a call and you put the phone up against your face, uh, it will answer the call. So uh, that's technically part of motion launch, even though it's not a gesture, unless if you count putting the phone against your face, the gesture. The uh, so those are the main ones you would do without the case on. With the case on, there's of course the double tap, which you already ran through. And there's also the swipe down, still works. Callgeek.com. Calling geek.com mobile. So that's pretty slick. And now we can see the other gesture. Swipe down, and I canceled the call. So if someone calls me, what I could do is I could swipe down to answer it, uh, to uh, cancel it, or swipe up to answer it. Let's see if we can do a quick demo of that before we run out of time. So uh, phone is sleeping just like it should be. I'm launching my other phone. I'm going to call. I am going to call. I'm placing the call and this phone should activate It will activate, I promise. Hey, there you go. So I'm getting a call from my top secret number. I could swipe up to accept it, swipe down to cancel it. I don't want to talk to myself. Uh, and now uh, you can see the time. And hey, uh, I missed a call. That's what that, that means. My call bounced from my old fashioned telephone. But uh, yeah, so th that's basically the, uh, the important parts of motion launch. The, uh, there's a couple different gestures when the, with no case, uh, the basically one gesture and then the tap thing with the case on and uh, that'll get you uh, up to speed with uh, all the really important gestures with your HTC One M8. So this is Sal from geek.com. Thanks for